All right, once again, we confirm that the south vertex, the very tip of the south vertex, is here. And it appears to us that something big and heavy used to be here, but has been removed. We get down the ravine. Not quite as scary now that we can see where we're going. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> we cross that noisy little river. We find that guitar bridge of megaliths that anchor down the guitar strings that are the radial lines. I think that's a good analogy. Think of rhythm and perhaps resonance. Well, right away across the river we find three, I think it is three, steel cable strangled trees. Still can't understand what that's all about. And now we are looking for the lines, which I believe at this moment are going to reveal gigantic stone causeways. But boy, am I wrong. We're inside one of the lines. You can see that's a line in through the trees. Here's the thing, it's there's no rock, there's no megalith structure here. It's just a clear cut through the trees, but it's not cut. None of these trees was cut. The stumps are all broken. They're all snapped at the base. No signs of tire tracks. No signs of tracked vehicles. Here's the uh, Wadibashi disposable chopstick tree that we so often see. The shard here and the split lengthwise through this tree, a long sword. No sign of human activity but signs of Hebagon. Right, now what I just said there is wrong. Look carefully, look more carefully than I am at the moment in my excitement, and you will see white lines on some trees that look like oil pencil or something, and the very odd yellow plastic tape around a tree. So there are signs of human presence in here. But it is true that the lines are not, not as far as we can tell, defined or marked by these human signs. And it is true that four sets of eyes Four pairs of eyes failed to find a single cut mark anywhere. Now my friends here are a fireman, an engineer, and a commercial artist. So they all have good eyes. They use their eyes in their work. 
We all failed to find a single cut mark anywhere. And we looked. And we were in there for an hour and a half. So that's a total of six man hours. And we spread out, as you can see, but not one of us found a single cut from a saw. But hundreds and hundreds of breaks, many of them fresh. Did not expect this. Broken, 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 all broken, nothing cut. No. No tape markers to show the limits of the line. See, so left one in the middle here. Peeled here. There's something back behind there. I'm way ahead of my group, but they can't see me. It's kind of why I came with a group, so they'd, well, they're, at least they're staying together. Uh, there's another river back here. structure on the opposite side. See that? None of this is on the map. All of the maps are wrong. All of the maps are wrong. This big boy was busted off of there. Whoa. Peeled. and decapitated. Moving off the line. I'm between lines now. Busted. Busted. Busted at the base. Busted with extreme force. Another wadibashi. Wadubashi chopstick tree. So it looks like we're not looking at a megalith after all. Here they come. It feels a little better to have friends.
There's the line. So this is the second river running perpendicular to the lines, bisecting all the lines. Just running right through them. And from the light above, I can see I'm coming onto another line. Another chopstick tree. What do you think of this place? Pretty crazy. How high up is that damage, Hiro? Three meters? Four? Four meters, the damage? Three. Three, yeah. Well, let's say three and a half. Okay, look at this. Pride open here. on the other side. Peeled, 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 peeled. Look at this is rock lined. Look at the side there. Like a wall. Right? It's a rock-lined pit going down in it. This is man-made. Look at this. That's man-made. That's a wall. Eh? So, y'all. And it's a pit, it's a man-made pit. Stone lined all the way around, it's a circle. It's a circle, Hiro. It's a stone circle. We're no smarter than before. We're dumber than before. Came in to get some answers, and we have more questions now. More questions than we had before.
right? You can't get lost in this forest. Just follow the lines back, the lines and the smashed stumps and all the peeled sticks and peeled trees and splintered lengthwise trees. Here's a fresh one. But most of these are broken off a long time ago. So I was wrong, and the prefectural forest manager was wrong. The lines are not made of giant stones. Well, where are the giant stones I was looking at before? They're just cut lines. But not cut. So this is interesting. This is a tree with two trunks. The outside trunk, right on the edge of the line, is unmolested, but the inside trunk that is growing inside the line is broken and peeled. And here is the upright. This is the matching upright. Broken here, too. Broken there, too. Thank you, Dochi. taken out with extreme prejudice. Yeah, I'm in another line. Peeled all around at the base, but broken off up, up top. Totally peeled, Bro broken. I don't understand it, guys. Zen Zen Wakaran. If you can see at home, that's a line. That's a line. And then coming over here. This is another line, so 
This is a vertex. Yoichi's sta standing on my vertex. And what is it? It's just a... A whole mess of busted timber has been dragged back here and left to rot. Nothing is what I expected. Okay, the absolute vertex. There is a megalithic structure here, but it goes sideways. So this rock here marks the start of one line. This rock marks another line. But this beauty... Here. Look at this cloven stone. So the lines are ancient, very ancient, but they're maintained in the current day by someone not using saws.